what you guys got another video here for you now microsoft have released a windows update to fix windows 10 blue screen problem and also a lot of other issues this is an update from windows 10 which you may see in your windows updates area here so you can see optional quality update available this is for 2020 it's the cumulative uh, update preview for windows 10 version 20 h2 64 bit and also this is for uh, windows 10 2004 or 2004 whatever you want to call it it's for that version as well now this uh, version if you don't want to download and install this um, microsoft will be releasing this to everyone on december the 8th for their uh, security patch fix uh, download day so that will be on the 8th of december uh, but if you do see it here and you want to install it, you can do, and it's going to fix a lot of problems. There has been some major issues with blue screen of death um, as well uh, with how having this um, on the system. So you can see this is for version 20H2. So if you go down here and type WinBur, it will tell you the version that you're running on your system, and you'll be able to see uh, whether this update um, is available for you. Okay, so for November 30th, 2020, the KB4586853 uh, operating system build numbers are here. Uh, you can see basically what the update is going to fix. Now, if you're one of these people that's having these particular types of issues, then this update will resolve uh, those problems. It's for Windows 10 version 2004 and uh, also for the version 20H2. So let's take a look at the highlights here. These are some of the highlights for what it actually fixes and update an issue that causes Narrator to stop responding after you unlock a device. Now, I know someone who uses Narrator on our Discord server and uh, he's had some issues. So maybe that is what the problem is there. Updates issues that prevent you from finding certain Microsoft Xbox consoles on your Windows device. That is another problem there. Also, we've got uh, the updates an issue that fails to display that Microsoft X Xbox Game Bar app controls on supported monitors. I think I've seen this error message with people as well. And uh, let's have a look here. So updates an issue that uh, USB 3.0 hubs and device devices connected to the hub might stop working. Uh, when you set the device to hibernate. So if you set to a hibernate, your device will stop working. So if you're having that issue, then this will resolve that problem. And there's some other stuff on here as well, which you can take a look at here. So the improvements and fixes are listed here. There's quite a few of them. So it is definitely worth installing if you are running uh, Windows 10 2004 or 2004, if you want to call it that. Our and also the 20H2, if you are running these, it might as well do it because it's going to resolve a lot of these issues that you may be having. Now, one of the main issues is the blue screen of death. As you can see here, this is the main blue screen of death that you will get. And also some people have said they're getting reboot loops and also some issues there. And that is due to uh, this not being patched. And now that once you get this patched and fixed, those problems should be fixed and resolved. And just for the naysayers that watch the video, I just want to confirm that Microsoft have confirmed these problems as well, just to clarify that this is a real life problem. And you can see it applies to Windows 10 version 20 H2, all editions of Windows 10 version 2, 2004, 2004. And you can see here after updating or installing Windows 10 version 20 H2 or Windows 10 version 2004, you might receive a stop error code uh, when plugging in Thunderbolt in NVMe SSD. And uh, that's basically what they've confirmed here. So for people that say these are just fabricated errors and people are making them up, you can see this is on Microsoft's website. They've already confirmed that this is a cause of an issue. And also they have released an update. And guess what the update is? It is that KB458. 6853 so there you go so that is the actual update there and also uh, we recommend that you do not attempt to manually update using the update now button on 
media creation tool until safeguard is removed. So let's move on to the next bit. Now there's also been some issues with upgrade to Windows 10 2004 and their VPN uh, settings are not working correctly. And you can see here it's been posted on Microsoft's website as well. And there has been some confirmation of issues uh, with the uh, Windows 10 password credentials, uh, the credentials, uh, credentials uh, manager as well. And I think that fix will resolve that issue as well. So if you're having one of these issues here, uh, which is to do with the uh, Microsoft um, credential manager, then this should resolve the problem by updating uh, to that latest update. Now, like I said, this is an optional update right now, but it will be rolled out on Tuesday the 8th of December as a security update. So if you don't want to update it now, it will be rolled out to you a little bit later on. Also, Microsoft is blocking some users from downloading this newest feature and upgrade due to the compatibility issues with storage devices. Uh, but there are plans uh, to lift the compatibility hold in mid-December. With that said, I think that just about covers it all. There is quite a few other issues uh, that they have resolved, which I don't want to go too much into, like system reboot loops and other bugs, but uh, general crashes. Uh, with these bugs fixes, they're going to release these as and when they see fit to resolve issues with Windows 10, which is an ongoing thing. It seems that as soon as they fix one issue, uh, another one arises, and uh, it is getting better, uh, but some of these are little niggly issues, and some of them are more serious, like blue screen of death and crashing and stuff like that, which is pretty uh, serious, if you ask me. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. I just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate that support. It really does mean a lot. And also, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now.